100 people in attendance today as we get things started here in Bloomington. Fairfield doing a good job right now, just holding them to one shot on each possession. Really nice ball movement there. Look at Brown knocking it down from three. Really spreading out that Indiana defense. Jadale Brown averaging about 14 points per game, her season high 35 as a take to the rim, and that one's going to be good. Jordan yeah, Gardon on the board. And here comes Fairfield again, really pushing pace. The efficiency for Fairfield. You talked about it. Them wanting to get more threes up. Katie Lamro with the ball with 10 on the shot clock. On target off the mark. Advancing it ahead off the bounce once again. Nice look. This one. Reigning AP National Coach of the Year. Two-time Big Ten Coach of the Year as well. And talked about how they want to prove people wrong. They feel like they aren't getting the acknowledgement, even though they have four seasons where they're in the top four seed in the NCAA tournament. But they're using that as full as fuel. I think this Indiana team is highly motivated to come into this tournament. They felt that pain last year. Do not want to feel it again. Well, Indiana is not afraid to pay, play at pace, and they will put the ball up, make things happen quickly. Well, how about Fairfield, who has just been on fire? Their te her team was down and expected to win. As we see Indiana knock down that shot, and it was just tremendous to watch her composure for, the, for Fairfield, and her players actually also kept their composure and were able to just stick with it till some shots fell. Got a couple of buckets on both sides. And all tied up at 15. Chloe off the bounce, going right at the rim and gets the end one. Get to the rim. She has great size, too, at the point guard. Eighth in the league in points, fifth in assists. Has been amazing for her team this season as the beautiful basket underneath for Deliba goes down. Yeah, pulled McKenzie Holmes outside of the lane, just set a little back screen and got her player, got a player open. Again, that's what they're looking to do on offense with Fairfield is get Holmes away from the basket. Brown went for the steal, the dish underneath, McKenzie Holmes connects. Got to find that big in the middle. And again, that quick up, we saw them working on six already on both sides. We're excited to be here in Bloomington to cover the first game of this pod. Short shot clock again for Fairfield. Quarter three, purple of the day. This one coming from Amina Selimovic. Yeah, well, this again is pulling the homes up. Chloe asking for the ball on the wing. Scalia, corner, again, gets it again. Wing three, and Janelle Brown checks back in for the Stags. Gets the rebound. Almost had to go amongst the trees there. Relocates, corner three, and that goes down. Yeah. My goodness, fit three for the Stags. Lots of energy right now for Fairfield, and another turnover by Indiana, just rushing things and not seeing the defense. Pinpoint to precision. Well, eight seconds on the shot clock. She needs to be aware of that. Had the hesitation move, found space, gets the bucket. The Leba, spin move to the bucket, rolls in. She has been really good, I think, on the boards. Really powerful. Two possession game with almost three minutes left in this second quarter. McKenzie Holmes makes the dish underneath and lets us Boy Moore McNeil waving out the baseline. Trying to get some two-man game with her and Holmes. Corner three. Great job by two players uh, on help side defense. Couldn't get there in time for that one. McKinsey Holmes on the board. Sitting with eight points. 40 seconds to play in this first half. Talk about Garden goes on, and how about that one down underneath for McKenzie Holmes? Look how fast the defense comes over for help side. That's a, oh, out of another Big Ten team, Iowa, with Mega Gustafson being very efficient herself. 
The threes keep raining in for Fairfield. You do not want to let Indiana get too far ahead of you oh. and play from behind. Lamro saw the double team, kicked it out, and another three by Sally Movit. Said we are going to give them everything we have. Have not won against a Power 5 team all season. Have some work to do as Sarah Scalia knocks down the triple. If you are defending Scalia, you have to get a hand in her face. And I mean, get up close to her. No room. <laughs> Where do we begin? Megan Anderson knocking down the triple. Still a three-point game. Seems like Fairfield always has an answer every time down or every couple of times down. They're doing a terrific job of guarding homes. You watch her being fronted by Salamovich. <laughs> Are you up 16 and currently on a 13 -0. Fairfield going for 30 straight wins and IU going for their fifth straight appearance in the second one. Well, in this corner, four blocked shots. But how Right now, IU on a 10-0 run. Corner ball, you bet! Scalia! Got the three ball, and it's been a little bit of everyone, but four for six from three, five for five from the free throw line. And Tell you what, we'll see the highlights of the offense for Indiana from this quarter, but they have been really good defensively. Lily Meister actually checks in for her, and then another block shot by Lexis Barkester. That is five this quarter, I believe. Great attendance throughout this season. Iowa, another huge place where you can play in the Big Ten, and that's who they're behind for IU. So solid. The development of players. Quarter three, Chloe! Welcome to the party! <laughs> Right back at you. Players that were already here. As that three is off the mark, the rebound underneath, no foul call. That one also blocked by Brown. Think of her knee bothering her. Pulls down the rebound there. Full court pass up ahead. Paris gets the bucket after checking it down. It has been physical. Look at the vision here by Garzone. Get the ball down the floor to Parrish, who takes contact, is able to finish. Away from the basket, you're going to see a lot of physicality and focus. <laughs> she had the same type of game, 23, 25 points in that game. Second to just Caitlin Clark in the Big Ten. I get a chance to see Scotty again in a great fade. That's the kind of read. Goes on, or take a seat. Underneath Dish, and it just doesn't get any easier. They come at you in waves. Absolutely, and again, those big guards that Indiana plays with, Terry Moran loves the six foot, six one, six two guards. So difficult to go up against that for 40 minutes. The six foot sophomore, Hennessen Vick, on the board, as that one's blocked as well, and it's just been a complete game. And the shot. We have seen multiple times where maybe they're beat deep with injuries and some just needing to back McKenzie Holmes up. But her size and her ability to produce on the court, I think it's going to be really, really deserved to host, I believe. Well, Coach went back as far as their second game of the season, and they dropped that game 96-64 to against Stanford as they continue to pile it on. When you make the tournament, you give yourself a chance in the first half. And one bucket for a bar dresser. That one. And there is nothing but competitors on these two teams. So substitutions are both season, so that's something that probably Thibaut Dudonis can continue to build on. Yeah, several players coming back. Yeah. Look at Daliba, and she is a... <laughs> As we mentioned, the 10th appearance in the NCAA tournament five straight but four straight with the top four seed in the tournament and playing like they are on a revenge tour as she takes the bump from the field coming down off the bench just a freshman showing some poise able to take a much deserved round of applause as they has a convincing win over the Fairfield Stags and dance on in the tournament